Hello everyone, you're watching Vic Boys Channel here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a click detector scripts in Roblox Studio. Now, um, today's video, I'm going to be making a part, and um, I'm going to make that part a color, and I'm going to be adding a click detector. So, if I'm going to click this part, I want this part to change a color, but I want that part to change a random color. So it's really simple, really easy to do for click detectors. So let's get started. First, you want to insert a part to Roblox Studio. And I'm just going to be making this like, there we go. So it's a block like that. Good. So now I'm going to be calling this my part, actually no space my part. You can name it whatever you want. Now, I'm going to be adding, so you want to click on workspace, you click this plus sign. You Now, we're going to need to find our remote event. Now, I'm going to change this remote event, my click detect, hmm, detect tour event. My click detector event. Great. So now I'm going to select my part and I'm going to change the brick color to any color you want. I'm going to change it to red. And now I'm going to select my part. I'm going to click this plus sign and we're going to be adding a click detector. So now I want to show you guys what is a click detector. A click detector is like when you click something, that part was is going to happen. So now uh, since we add a click detector, my mouse cursor will change. So if I hover over this block, as you can see, my mouse cursor is changed to an arrow. That means it is ready to click. But as you guys can see, it's not changing any color because we haven't editing our script. But if we go to take off this, um, my click detector, if we're going to take this off, as you guys can see, we have nothing. We don't have a mouse cursor click detector in our game. So that means that it's, it, it can't be clicked at all. But adding a click detector will change the bricks color. So now uh, we're going to go to start a GUI. I'm going to click this plus sign and we're going to search up a local script. There we go. Now we're going to say this local script a local dot a click detector equals a game dot workspace whoops my part since my part is in the workspace so we're saying game workspace my part is in the workspace and a click detector click detector click detector is in the workspace I'm gonna press enter click detector got mouse click will connect a function then I'm gonna say again workspace my my click detector event since my click detector is in the workspace. Fire server. There we go. That's it for the local script. So you're done with the local script. Also, I forgot to mention this. Go to... <coughs> wow, voice cracks. Go to workspace and go to properties. Also, uh, if you're new to this uh, Roblox studio, if you guys want to know how to open Explorer and properties so let me get this out so it's going to look like something like this so you want go you want to go to view you want to click on explorer and you want to click on properties there we go so now go click on workspace go to properties make sure filter enable is on check mark what is filter enable filter enable is it will keep protecting hackers from exporting your game. 
So if there's a hacker exporting your game, it will like it will protect your game. So yeah, I think. So now, uh, when you want to go to click detector, my click detector event, and I'm gonna be adding a script. So I'm I'm just gonna click. Oops. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna click on this plus sign. I'm gonna search up a script. Script. There we go. So now we got our script. I'm gonna say game workspace. My click detector event. On server event. We'll connect a function. There we go. A script dot parent dot parent two parents dot my part. Now this is the part where we go to change a brick color. Brick color. There we go. Well, equals a brick color dot random. So now. If the cl my click detector event, if we go into click on my part, which is this part, this part right here, it's going to it's going to say a brick color, random. So if we click, it's going to change a color. So if we go ahead and if we go into test this game, there we go. We're on the game, and now uh, we're we're gonna go to our part. And if we click on this part, as you guys can see, it is changing. It changed the color. If I touch it again, as you guys can see, it will now change every single color that this has and have it has in Roblox. So that's going to be it for this Roblox tutorial. I just want to show you what is a click detector and how to make a click detector or making a script for a click detector. So that's going to be it for this video. I really hope this enjoy. I hope this help this helps for your next future game on Roblox. If you do enjoy this video, why not make a like? Why not enjoy this like button? I mean like click on the like button if you do enjoy. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for new Roblox videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.